In deepest, darkest Worcestershire, there's some shooting happening and it's organised by the Birmingham Armoury and it's a big day out. This is becoming a very important part of the growing customer experience. Shops and retailers are actually inviting people out for days in the woods or in the fields to try things before they might buy them. It also gives the chance for like-minded people to meet up and to actually show each other what fantastic shooting kit they've got. <laughs> I'm here with Darren, if that's right. Yeah. And Darren, you've got a tuned SMK. That's right, yeah. Which has been done by Lawson yes. in the shop. Tell us a little bit more about that, if you can. Okay, so uh, I, I bought this second hand, um, and it's about two years old. Okay. Um, and firing it was okay, um, but I was finding that even when I was looking through the crosshair, zeroing it in, it was still slightly off. Right. Um, so what I did was spoke to Jack in the Birmingham Armoury, mm -hmm. and um, he said that uh, they worked with someone uh, by the name of Lawson, right. and he actually tunes them up, and I said, great. Okay. So that's, um, when I when I took it in and it was um, done for you. So, yeah. do you actually know what he did? What what part of the process was? Yeah. So one of the one of the main things was to get it clean. Mm -hmm. um, um, and what he found was um, some of the alignment was out. So right. so some of the internals um, when it yeah. was firing, it was firing offline. So okay. no matter how much I was tweaking on on the scope, yes, it was still going to fire offline. Anything. So he's actually mm. straightened all that out now. Cleaned right. all the in, um, cleaned all the barrel out. Replaced a lot of the um, the seals right um, so he's put a he's put a new kit on it basically okay. a new seal kit um, and now it's firing absolutely right. brilliantly so you did originally buy it second hand yes yeah so that's obviously it doesn't come out of the factory like that exactly. but it, yeah but okay so someone's had it for a while before yeah and it's spot on now yes. you're, you're happy with the way it's shooting yeah it's absolutely yeah. fantastic yeah i have to say there's day states and all sorts of things here as well and you're keeping up with those i think by the looks of absolutely, it absolutely yeah. So, yeah 580 feet uh, feet per second so really yeah okay and that's running on the two co2 canisters yes yeah how many shots are you getting out of that in a go um roughly about 50 to 60 shots okay before it needs replacing yeah. so it's, uh, it's pretty good as well as keeping up with the big boys right fantastic <laughs> and what caliber is it before we let you go it's a two 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 yeah brilliant darren thank you, thank very, you much. very much Cheers. brilliant thanks That's what I'm hoping for. I'm trying to kill your target car. No. No, no. 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 on the bike. Get killed. Get help yourself. <laughs> I'm here with Jack. Jack, nice to meet you. Now you're the manager. I'm the manager of the Birmingham Armoury. Yeah. Okay, so Jack is running the day here today, and we've been following him around as he does the bits with the bows. That's now, correct. I don't know a lot about bows, so tell us what what, what have you got? Okay, well this is a recurve bow. Um, they come in various uh, lengths and power strengths. Um, yep. You can have compound bows which are obviously aided with uh, cams and mechanical implements and makes the draw weight a lot lighter. This one's just a standard reco uh, recurve bow that was modified at the shop. Um, mm -hmm. We've got counterbalancing system in the bottom here. Yep. Um, basically all the uh, stuff you've seen on the Olympics over the last few weeks, you've yes. got the stabilisation 
uh, bars that come off the bow, they hold the bow steady in, in yep. use. You can't use those in the woods uh, because right. you can't get through the gaps in the trees. That's true. So what we do is we actually manufacture a weight system that we put on the bows that we sell. Okay. Uh, and that counters all those problems and you can use them in the woods. This one's right. pulling 53 foot pounds. Okay. Um, so it's, yeah, it's, it's quite a formidable animal. Right. And what sort of range have you got with that? What's the distance? Uh, the longest shot here is uh, 90 yards. Okay, and what are you expected to hit at 90 yards? What sort of size target? The one that we've got here is a polar bear. Okay. Um, but even though it's the size of a, an average grown man, it, yeah. from a long way away, it's, it's, it's that big. And uh, okay. you've really got to know what you're doing to try and get anywhere close to it. So it's, Blimey. It's challenging, yeah. So how do people get involved? I mean, are there clubs? Is there a national organisation? Yes, there is. Uh, we looked after by the National Field Archery Society, NFAS. Um, okay. They take care of the insurance. Uh, they run competitions in facilities such as this. Yeah. Um, it's a very popular sport. I mean, you can hear the guys behind yeah, the camera having yeah. a great time. Um, there is a level of competition, and obviously throughout the year there's some very prestigious events. I've just completed Dunstan myself uh, okay. with my shooting colleague Lawson over there. Yeah. Um, and Lawson is the chap that tunes the guns, isn't Lawson he? Lawson is the chap that tunes the guns yeah. at the gun shop, yes. So, um, <laughs> Yeah. So not only that's him. Uh, so we um, obviously we huge levels of bow modifications, and we've done quite a few of these now. Um, we have a knack of people buying cheap air rifles off us. Um, yeah. uh, they go away, they put 500 pellets through it, they bring it back to us, and it goes to the tuners, yeah. um, and it comes back firing like a virarch, and that's okay. some, something else that we do for people who are working to a bit of a budget. All right. It's all legal, by the way, but I mean, it is. Um, but yeah, they do do very special things with guns. Okay, so in in a normal, typical shoot, you stand in different positions, and then you work closer to the target and away from the target. That's correct. There's a scoring system. Yeah. So you'll take your first arrow from. It's usually a red peg at the back. Okay. Um, if you're feeling extra confident, you can go for the Z peg, which is the compound. It's usually for compound bows or smart bombs. You need. Right quite a lot of power to get your arrow to the target. Yeah. If you do miss from the first peg, you are moved to the next peg. Uh, right. But as the progression moves forward, the scores go down. Yeah, so sure. the idea yeah. is not to miss. Right, okay. Well, it looks like everyone's having great fun today and we're stopping the competition. So I'm gonna let you get on. Jack. Absolutely my pleasure, John. Yeah, nice to meet you today. And I'm sure people will come to the shop and have a look and Thank they'll you. meet you themselves. He's a nice chap, go and meet him. <laughs> Unfortunately, the heavens have now opened, which means we're not going to film a lot more, but hopefully this has given you a snapshot of something that the Birmingham Armoury is doing. There's crossbows, pistols, airsoft, everything you might like to try. Have a look at the link to them on our website, maybe go and visit them, ring up Jack, have a chat, and he'll tell you about future big days out coming up soon. That's it, thanks for watching, bye bye.